Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome to the top of the sale for Autumn 2020. Now in this video, I'll be highlighting my list of best deals that you can find primarily on Steam and competing platforms. When coming up with this list, I largely looked for the deepest discounts on the highest rated games that also had not been out that long. So many of the games that you're going to see here will be hitting historical low prices, some of which for the very first time. So that means that a lot of games here have never been cheaper. If people like the idea of this video and doing it with each major seasonal sale, then please do consider liking the video, sharing it, and maybe commenting if you picked up any of the games or post a game deal yourself to help others out. Alright, without further delay, let's begin. I'll start working backwards from the most recent releases in 2020. And first up, we have Doom Eternal at 67% off, its cheapest price yet. This game released in March of 2020 and continues the rip-roaring, fast-paced and violent combat from 2016's Doom reboot, all set to the amazing soundtrack by Mick Gordon. Eternal has a heavier focus on upgrades both to weapons and Doom Guy's suit, drip-feeding you with new gameplay mechanics with each level, but at its core, keeping the fast-paced and snappy demon-slaying combat it's known for. The game looks great, runs great, and feels great to play. I highly recommend this, and I'd say it's probably the best deal on the list. Next up we have Death Stranding. Quite the polar opposite from Doom, Death Stranding is essentially an environmental traversal game. While many call it a walking simulator, it's more about finding a route through difficult terrain using various contraptions while avoiding a mysterious extra-dimensional threat. Certainly one of the weirdest games out there, this really just has to be experienced in order to understand the hype behind it. With 94% positivity from its user reviews on Steam, it's one of the highest rated games on our list and it's never been cheaper. The next game on our list isn't actually on Steam, but I wanted to give it a quick mention as it has just hit a new historical low price. It's SnowRunner, the latest in the Spin Tires franchise and sequel to MudRunner. SnowRunner is another environmental traversal game where you have to plot your route across difficult terrain in order to complete objectives and get paid. Completing objectives unlocks new parts of the map and getting paid leads to better upgrades and new trucks. While initially the launch had some instability, the game has received numerous patches both with free content and paid and is now widely considered a great trucking sandbox. Currently the game is on the Epic Games Store exclusively. Next up we have Desperados 3. At 40% off, this is the cheapest the game has ever been, but it was actually 40% off just a couple of weeks ago. Desperados 3 is a story-driven stealth tactics game set in the Wild West. There's five unique characters, each with their own abilities that can lead to some extremely deep gameplay, where you'll use active pause to queue up orders and execute several plans all at the right moment. The game is fully voiced, has a terrific soundtrack, and is developed by Me 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 Games, the creators of Shadow Tactics, Blades of the Shogun, which is actually 8 85% off. Both games have user reviews at 96% positivity overall. Next we have Star Wars Squadrons. Discounted at 40% just 8 weeks after release, this is a much more affordable price point for those who just want to try out the single player campaign, which is about 8 hours long. It's worth noting that VR is not required to play the game, though it is apparently a really great experience despite users still reporting issues with joystick controls. Squadrons is exclusively a dogfighting game, reminiscent of Battlefront 2's dogfights, but with a bit more depth, a slightly bigger scale, and many more game modes. That said, the player base in multiplayer is quite small, though with the announcement of new content and the current sale, it's starting to gain some momentum. Next is Wasteland 3. Released just two months ago, Wasteland 3's 30% discount is a record low, but still leaves it at one of the most expensive games on the list. Wasteland 3 is an old-school tactical RPG where you take control of a squad of desert rangers, this time dispatched to the snowy mountains of Colorado. The gameplay consists of turn-based tactics while in combat and meaningful deep RPG decisions that affect quest lines in dynamic ways. You'll also be leveling up your squad, earning loot, building your vehicle that can be used in combat, and unraveling the story of the Patriarch and his three unruly children. I haven't yet played Wasteland 3, but 2 was my game of the year in 2014. It's an excellent franchise for lovers of post-apocalyptic settings. The last game on the list for 2020 is Undermine. Undermine is a dungeon-crawling roguelike, similar in some ways to Binding of Isaac, but with a bit more RPG elements with regards to upgrades and loot. It's a charming game about progression and discovery, where each run you'll hopefully become more powerful as you rescue characters and combine items into better gear in order to prepare against a diverse array of enemies and challenging bosses. Previously in early access for about a year, the game had its full release in early August and is widely regarded as one of the best in its genre. It's also got a brilliant art style. 
So, all of those games have released in 2020, at least on PC. Now we're going back to the year 2019, where the discounts get even bigger. First up, we have A Plague Tale Innocence at a new historical low price of 70% off. A Plague Tale Innocence is a linear story focused adventure game with a campaign around 12 hours. Set in France during the 14th century, you play as the 15 year old Amicia and her young brother Hugo as they attempt to flee from the Inquisition and avoid plague infested villages. Combat is virtually non-existent, instead you'll mostly be using stealth, timing and the environment as you battle your way through the swarms and avoid the knights. The game also has a demo available if you want to just try it out before you buy. Next we have two games not on Steam, the first one being World War Z at 70% off. World War Z is a four-player co-op action horror game set in the universe of the World War Z novels. It's basically similar to Left 4 Dead, although it is third person. You've got 14 missions spread across four different chapters, with an additional horde mode and a challenge mode to add some extra replayability. There's also a DLC chapter that contains three extra missions. The game is really, really great and extremely impressive from the sheer volume of zombies that are thrown at you in big wave defense sections. I've probably played near 100 hours with a friend and there's a lot of progression in terms of weapon improvements and class upgrades as well as different equipment to use which will help you up the difficulty and earn bigger rewards. World War Z is on the Epic Games Store and it's currently on the Xbox Game Pass for PC. Next we have Anno 1800, my personal game of the year for 2019. At 67% off, this is a record cheap price for the game, and as with many games on this list, its DLC is also discounted too. Anno 1800 is a city builder and a logistics game set during the Industrial Revolution. You'll build a city, discover the new world, grow your economy, and buy out your competitors who are looking to do the same thing. The game can now be played with co-op of up to 4 players as companies, or 4 players in each company for a total of 16. The game is one of the best looking city builders available and also has a beautiful soundtrack. Anno 1800 is available on Uplay and the Epic Games Store, and it's also available on Uplay Plus as a subscription service which includes Season 1 and Season 2 DLC. Back over to Steam now, we have Borderlands 3 at a historical low of 67% off. Borderlands is a colorful, quirky, cel-shaded, open-world FPS with a heavy emphasis on loot. It even classes itself as the first true looter shooter. Though it does have a single player story, the game can also be played co-op with seamless drop in and drop out into friends campaigns regardless of the level or progress. Borderlands 3 doesn't really mess with the formula of the series that much, but it offers new enemies, new environments, new stories, and lots more loot. Next up we have Steel Division at 66% off. Steel Division is a World War II RTS with massive scale where battles take place over several kilometers of territory in the Eastern Front. There's both land and air combat with a mix of infantry and vehicular units that push and pull on a real-time shifting border of real-world locations. Steel Division 2 also features a turn-based campaign for several operations that took place on the Eastern Front, letting you play them from both perspectives. You'll manage a supply currency to capture points of interest and then fight out battles when battalions clash on the map. Their division will determine their unit composition and what you can actually field during deployment. Steel Division 2 and its predecessor really are excellent, though I would consider them more of a single player game as their multiplayer is fairly bare bones with a really hardcore player base that's gonna make it hard for you to get to grips with. Next we have Resident Evil 2 at 60% off. At 97% positive reviews on Steam, this remake of the 1998 classic is widely considered one of the best horror games ever. Resident Evil 2 is a third-person action horror game set during the outbreak of the T-Virus in Raccoon City. You can play from the perspective of both Leon Kennedy and Claire Redfield in separate campaigns as they look for survivors and uncover the mysteries of the virus. This game has absolutely stunning visuals, and for fans of the original, it's amazing to see the mansion and police station recreated in such detail. For horror fans, this is an absolute must-play. Next, we have Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. At 60% off, this is the game's biggest discount yet, and at 90% positive ratings, it's one of the most positively received Star Wars games in the last 15 years. Though there hasn't exactly been huge competition in that space. Space! Anyways, Jedi Fallen Order has been described as Star Wars mixed with Uncharted, and that's because it's a third-person action-adventure game with an emphasis on climbing. But what many people don't know is that the game isn't as linear as Uncharted, allowing you to freely visit different parts of the galaxy when you want. And while there aren't many places to go, the freedom to decide what to do is one of the game's biggest strengths. Combat is a pretty standard affair with striking, parrying and dodging, but it's paired with force abilities you'll unlock through the skill trees over time which keeps combat interesting and allows you to unlock new areas. The story takes place 5 years after episode 3 as the Empire send Inquisitors to hunt remnants of the Jedi Order. Next up we have Metro Exodus at 60% off. 
Metro Exodus has also at times been discounted on the Epic Games Store and bundled with the Xbox Game Pass, but this is its lowest price on Steam to date. Metro Exodus is the third installment in the franchise from 4A Games, and it's a semi-linear first-person shooter based on the book by Dmitry Glukhovsky. Set in the post-apocalyptic tunnels of the Moscow metro system, Exodus tells the story of when its inhabitants depart from the tunnels to the harsh winter landscape above and begin heading east on board a modified steam locomotive. Encounter new monsters and enemies in the harsh Russian landscape with large open levels that have their own day-night cycles, you can get the most out of your experience with the minimal UI options relying on readings and gauges to determine radiation levels and frost to determine the cold for a more immersive experience as you scavenge and kill to survive. Next up, we have The Outer Worlds at 50% off. The Outer Worlds is an open-world RPG with lots of branching stories and quests that allow for a multitude of different outcomes. Your character can react to what they're both good and bad at, developing traits that make you vulnerable in some places for benefits in others. Set at the furthest edges of the galaxy, a megacorporation seeks to bury its secrets about missing colonists, and instead leaves a wake of hostile alien creatures behind when it attempts to terraform planets. The Outer Worlds has a very quirky and zany sci-fi setting, but it's a really fantastic RPG with a pretty good FPS component. Exploration and writing is top-notch, it really recaptures the feeling of stepping into old vaults in Fallout for the first time. Next up we have Oxygen Not Included at a new historical low discount of 50% off. Oxygen Not Included is a 2D side-on colony management sim by Clay, the makers of Don't Starve and many others. After a long early access period, Oxygen Not Included is now fully released and an absolute joy to play. It's very challenging, extremely deep and has an awesome art style. You'll need to build and gather the resources in order to create duplicates and sustain them, all the while watching your consumption rates of water, oxygen and food and doing a controlled experiment through the asteroid, careful not to mix gases and chemicals, poisoning and killing the colony. The goal is to eventually build a thriving colony that can power the takeoff of a rocket so you can leave the asteroid. Our final game for 2019 is Nova Drift at 40% off. Currently in early access, the game is the highest rated game on this list, with a 98% positivity rating based on 2500 reviews. Nova Drift is essentially an arcade twin-stick shooter, but with an action RPG style of upgrade system. You unlock different sets of perks and combine them together to create your own build to suit your playstyle. It's a relatively simple game, but it's just one that does what it sets out to do really, really well. Now we move back to 2018 and 2017 for some pretty big discounts on fairly well-established games and franchises. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to make these ones a bit quicker now, as the likelihood of people owning and knowing about these games is probably a little higher. First up we have Frostpunk, a truly excellent city builder slash survival game with an alternate steampunk setting. You're tasked with rebuilding the last city on Earth around a generator that will keep people warm before the great frost hits. You're going to set policies against tough moral decisions such as child labor, faith, cannibalism, banishment and more. Next is Surviving Mars, another city builder slash survival game, which is a little lighter in tone and more about the logistics of maintaining a colony. With the use of several drones and rovers, you'll explore the surface of Mars to prepare it for the first colonists to arrive, then sustain them as the colony grows. With DLC, you can also begin the terraforming process hydrating the soil, while also beginning to deal with some social issues. Moving back now to 2017, first we have Prey, an excellent FPS set aboard a space station orbiting the moon. The game gives very big Bioshock vibes as you alter yourself and your environment to deal with and battle alien mimics which can take the form of any object. A really awesome game, a massive discount and a pretty great DLC too. Next is Assassin's Creed Origins. Now after playing Valhalla, it made me want to go back to Origins and with an 80% discount, it would be my AC recommendation of choice from the newer style of RPG that they've gone for. Traversing and exploring ancient Egyptian ruins, uncovering the origins of the Creed, having beautiful graphics and an amazing soundtrack and a great main protagonist, for me, it's the best AC game since they've shifted their gameplay and I highly recommend it at this massive discount. Next is Spellforce 3. I've recently done a video on the new expansion for Spellforce 3 as well as its free-to-play multiplayer, but for those looking for a semi-linear RPG, similar to something like Divinity, but just a bit more focused, Spellforce is really great. It's got a fully voiced campaign and weaves in the RTS style of building during big set-piece missions where you're going to need to raise armies to fight. I highly recommend it at this price for lovers of RTS games. 
Speaking of Divinity, Divinity Original Sin 2 is next, and it's an excellent, extremely highly rated RPG that is a lot more involved than something like Spellforce, with much more of a branching story, abilities, spells, and character classes, so it's not something for those completely new to the genre, but offers deep customization and nuanced gameplay that can also be played in co-op with friends. Next up is Total War Warhammer 2. After a vast number of free updates, dramatically improving performance, as well as fleshing out more races and playable content, Warhammer 2 is an excellent Total War game to sink countless hours into. With the addition of Total War Warhammer 1, the two games combine to unlock a larger, more expansive map that allows you to play in one of the largest strategy sandboxes ever created with an unprecedented amount of variety and playstyles. Don't let the DLC put you off, there's huge amounts of content in here right from the onset for newcomers, but if I could recommend just one DLC, you'd have to be the Tomb Kings. Next we move back to 2016 and it's Homeworld Deserts of Karak with a massive 90% discount. A prequel to the classic Homeworld Deserts of Karak takes place on the ground and it's developed by Company of Heroes and Homeworld Veterans. Now while there's virtually no multiplayer player base, the single player is regarded as an excellent addition to the Homeworld universe and the combat is fast and responsive and visually very high quality. At this price, any RTS fan should definitely give it a shot. Next is another personal favorite of mine, and that is Stellaris, a galaxy of endless possibilities. Stellaris is one of the best sandbox strategy games ever, allowing you to play with several combinations of ethics, governments, races, creating your own unique playstyle, and battling others in a randomized galaxy, with hundreds of events and several types of endgame crisis. With the addition of a thriving mod community, you can really build your own unique sci-fi story. And when it comes to DLC, if I could recommend but one, it would be the Ancient Relics Story Pack. Next on the list is from 2015, and that is Cities Skylines. I think most people know about this game by now, but I couldn't not mention it as for me, it's still the best city builder available, with a huge degree of freedom for how you build your city from the layout of roads to terrain manipulation, water flow, traffic, pollution, and more. This is the most dynamic city builder out there. It's still receiving DLC and has a huge amount of mods that allow for even more depth when it comes to the fine-tuning of placements, allowing real technical marvels to be built. My DLC recommendation would be the Industries Pack. And last but not least on my list is Company of Heroes 2. A personal favorite RTS of mine, its troubled launch has long overshadowed what's now one of the best multiplayer RTS games on the market. The game's got a healthy player base of around 10,000 concurrent at any one time, which makes finding games pretty quick, and it's also just great for playing against AI as it has hundreds of five-star maps available on the workshop to play around with and learn the ropes. There's also some pretty good overhaul mods as well to check out and rebalance things. And if you haven't picked it up, do not overlook it. And that's it for my top of the sale video for autumn 2020. If you think I missed any really big discounts, then feel free to let me know in the comments. I tried to pick mostly games which had never been cheaper. 24 of the games on this list have never been cheaper than they are right now, and 10 of those games uh, had just reached that price for the first time. So if you didn't see a particular game, that might be why, as it's either been cheaper before, or maybe it's just not that big of a discount. Please, as well, if you like this video and want to see another one when the winter sale rolls around, please do leave a like, leave a comment, post some of the gems out there that you think should be highlighted in future, and share this video with any friends who may be looking to buy while the sales are still on. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.